You don't always have to use a paintbrush to paint with. How about a piece of potato or even a celery stick? Want to know how? Come back and I'll show you. Come along, let's get creative, skillful, and inventive. Use your hands and jump start your imagination. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sharon. Would you like to paint with me today? We're going to make some very special paint with flour and water and gelatin to color it. But we're going to paint with vegetables. Yes, vegetables. Let's see what we can do. Hello, Rachel Ann. Are you ready? Yes, good. My mom is ready, and I'm going to come down here beside you. I'm going to show you what we're going to need for today. It really isn't hard. You just need to go to the cucumber and we might use a potato and we might use a carrot most important we need to have a little stick because we're going to put the stick in the vegetables i'll show you how that goes in just a moment the products needed for vegetable printing items craft sticks flour water and colored drink mix for the paste and a cookie cutter Flower, can you touch it? You can put your whole hand in it if you want to. There you go. Can I do it? Yeah. All right, great. Right. Can you get me to it? Oh, good. Now we're going to paint our vegetables. <laughs> what do we need to paint? How about some of this? Yeah. All right, do you want to hold the spoon? There, you can help me then. In goes a little bit of water, just enough so we can stir the flour into the water. Yay. There we go. That's looking very good. We want it a little bit liquidy, not like a paste, but just a little bit thinner, so it looks like paste. How does it look? Does it look beautiful? Good. Does it look kind of white? It's very white. So we're going to add some color. In these three little cups, I have gelatin powder. We open the gelatin package and put them in these little cups, and we can sprinkle one of these in. What would you like? Green. This is the green one. And we're going to sprinkle some. And you can just pinch it like this and put it in. I think a little bit more. May I sprinkle some in too? Here it comes. Green, green. And we go. Oh, whoa, that's looking really pretty. Now stir, stir again. Now it's starting to look like paint, isn't it? It is looking very beautiful. You're exactly right. She's stirring it into a smooth paint. And now we're going to prepare our vegetables to stamp. This is a piece of a potato, and we just sliced it in thin slices. We're going to use cookie cutters to stamp the potato all the way through as if it were a cookie dough. And then she's going to stamp them into the paint and then onto our paper. Are you ready to stamp one? Yeah. This is kind of hard, so Mommy can help her press it in. Push, push. Very hard, isn't it? It's very hard. There it goes. <laughs> Right in the potato, we're gonna pop it right out. Here it comes. Yes, it oh, perfect. That it looks perfect. You did a perfect job then, didn't you? Taking the craft sticks and we're putting it into the potato shape. Oh, yeah. And she's just about ready to stamp. Should we start stamping? Yeah. All right, in just a moment. <laughs> The object is to 
stamp her stamp into our paint that we made and then onto the paper. Can you stamp? She's stamping the shape onto the paper. Very good. I'm stirring up another color for us. We have a new shape and a new color. This is blue. See how pretty? See how pretty? Ready to stamp? Here we go. Boom. Wow, that was fun. Boom. Can you do another one by yourself? Very nice. Is that pretty? Yeah, a pretty picture. One more? Yes. Yeah. You can use any vegetable and you don't have to have a stamped shape. You can just slice the vegetables or the carrots and use the surface to make circles and squares, whatever shape the vegetable seems to be on the paper. We're ready to say goodbye. Goodbye, Rachel Ann. Thank you for playing with me. Bye, Mom.